Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners, wherever you might be listening from. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP leader and person of Mazi Oyendu Kano, has commended the House of Representatives Committee for demanding his unconditional release. The call for the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, was reportedly made by the chairman of the committee, Obina Agoja, at a meeting in Abuja. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in person of Mazi Oindu Namdokano, has commended the House of Representatives for asking the President Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu led Nigerian government to release him from detention. Mazi Oindu Namdokano's lawyer, the barrister Ifan Yejofo, who made this known in a statement, said that the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, Mazi Oindu Namdekanu, made the commendation on Monday when his legal team visited him at the, deten- at the Department of State Services DSS custody in Abuja. It was reported that the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee set up to interface with relevant security agencies to reduce kidnapping, assassination, and banditry in and around Isi Kwato and Omo Neochi local government area of Abia State in the southeast region of Nigeria and called for the release of Mazi Oindu in Amdakano for peace to reign in the southeast region. The call for the release of the detained indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, was reportedly made by the chairman of the committee, Obina Agwacha, at a meeting in Abuja where he was reported as saying that absolute peace, reduction of crime and criminality, investment in meaningful infrastructure development, ending the unproductive seat at home, and improving economic growth and opportunities in the Southeast, starts with the government's recognition of the rule of law, justice and equitable inclusion in the Southeast zone. During his legal team visit on Monday, Mazi Oindu in Amdakano, the indigenous people of Biafra lawyers said that the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB leader commended the efforts of the Ezebo Omunchineke once again, including the groups who are co- calling on the federal government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to obey the judgment of our own court and release him unconditionally or better system, prevail on the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to set down the appeal for hearing so that these shenanigans will cease. Also, Mazi Oindu Enemdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, who has been in the detention of the Department of State Services, DSS, applauded the courage of the House of Representative, com- House of Representative Committee in, the direct- in directing the federal government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to release him unconditionally in line with the judgment of the Court of Appeal. Mazi Oindu Enemdekano also appreciated Appreciated the chairman of the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on Security, Honorable Obi Agwacha, for being outspoken in this regard. Mazi Oyendo Enambekano, who is a British Nigerian political act- activist who advocates for the secession and independence of Biafra from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, which he founded in 2014. The main aim of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, is to restore the different separate state of Biafra, which existed in the Nigerian Eastern Region during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967-1970. As a director of a United Kingdom registered radio station named Radio Biafra, Kano propagated Biafran separatism. He was arrested on treason charges in Lagos, Nigeria on the 14th of August, October 2015, and was detained for more than a year despite various court orders that ruled for his release. When in court, Kano appeared regularly wearing a Jewish prayer shawl and head covering. He said in court that he believes in Judaism and considers himself a Jew. He had led his Biafran people to various Jewish prayers and religious observation on different occasions. On the 28th of April 2017, Kano was released from prison on bail 
After jumping bin and fleeing abroad, he played a major role in the insurgency in the southeastern. Nigerian security forces attempted to squash the indigenous people of Biafra's armed wing, the Eastern Security Network, which culminated in a low-level conflict in early 2021. Despite the fact, despite the fighting, Mazu and the Colonel maintained that indigenous people of Biafra was interested in a peaceful solution and achieving Biafra independence without violence or arm. In June 2021, he was arrested by Interpol and handed over to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In, tw- in December 2020, Mazu Indonam Dukano had Mazu Indonam Dukano announced that the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP had organized the Eastern Security Network ESN, which was supposed to defend southeastern Nigerians from bandits and armed Fulani elders. And the Kano later gave all the governors of southeast Nigeria 14 days to ban open grazing, threatening to deploy the Eastern Security Network to enforce a ban if the authorities did not do so. The Nigerian government regarded the formation of a non state sanctioned paramilitary organization as unacceptable and moved to suppress the group. The situation escalated in January 2021 when the Nigerian military was repelled in an attempt to expel the Eastern Security Network from Olu Imo State. Before another offensive was launched, Enamde Kanu ordered the Eastern Security Network to, wish- to withdraw to the bush temporarily, ending this confrontation. The Nigerian Army and Air Force renewed hostilities on the 18th of February by launching a military offensive against the ESN. The next day, IPOP declared that as of the 18th of February, a state of war had existed between Nigeria and Biafra. IPOP and other Biafran separatist groups consequently began to mobilize and fight the security forces across the several south, southern Nigerian states. Despite this, Kano maintained that IPOP was interested in a non-violent solution of the conflict and that ESN was supposed to fight bandits, not the Nigerian security forces. Regardless, Nigerian authorities designated IPOP as a terrorist organization and claimed that Kanu was inciting violence. On the 27th of June 2021, Kanu was arrested in Kenya. Kanu's arrest sparked anger amongst Biafran separatists and other Nigerian supportive to his cause. The World Ibo Congress declared the arrest illegal and adoption and international gangsterism. And that will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts or your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news as I'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.